what's up guys we're gonna we're gonna do uh i promised you throughout these this series here that we would be doing little clips what i want to talk about first is your zones of assessment this is so important if you get stranded <coughs> excuse me your zones of assessment zone one what you have on you that is your clothes your knife your firearm what's in your pack Remember, mission-specific loadout, you should have had the right gear anyway. A shelter, rain gear, extra clothes, water filtration, bug spray. Lord, I think we should have brought sunscreen. Um, food, you know, a couple days worth of food. At least a Nalgene bottle type bottle full of water to cook with. You know, most of these foods, you got to add water to the heater to make them work. Uh, these hammocks, these little backpacking hammocks uh, so you should have had your gear packed so zone one is what you have on you your machete your hatchet you know what you had in your pack zone two which is what we're in right now is your camp firewood food uh, you know immediate resources uh, little saplings or whatever you know to make shelters to make structures and that's zone two, water, you know, whatever. Uh, zone three is when you have to start venturing away from camp. I usually say 100 yards or more. That's because you're out of eyesight. Uh, zone three is when you have to start exploring. Generally speaking, in a survival situation, if you guys are stuck on the mountain somewhere, you're not going to hit zone three until at least day two. Don't get carried away with zone three, guys. Don't think you got to run out and start finding zone three unless you need water. But you should have been making notes on your hike. You should know where your water sources were. You should have a topo map. I, I hope you do. Uh, Onyx, Hunt, Hunt Stand, any of these apps on your phone, handheld GPSs, it should locate water. <clears throat> you can go without food. You cannot go without water, especially now. We're early, early summer, late spring, however you want to say it, and it's 985 degrees with 481% humidity. You better have some water. So we don't have any water. We're on a ridge. Remember, you don't want to be in lowlands because we've had a lot of rain, flash flooding, whatnot, so you want to stay out of the bottom. So we're on a ridge. In zone two, there is no water. Uh, so our water is in zone three. It's... Way down here in this bottom, there's a creek. Um, I know that from a topo map. Actually, I know that because we're on my farm and I've hunted here since I was big enough to walk. But zone three is about 150 yards. It's a nice, fresh, clean creek. That's where we're going to have to go get water. We'll have to run it through the Catadine, fill up our bottles. Uh, not a big deal, but it's zone three. Um, so you need to know your zones of assessment. Be very aware because those are very important and can help keep you alive. All right, guys. We're going to do... I, I told you I would tell you about... Oh, crap. It's stuck. The Gerber, I can't, it's damn stuck. The Gerber Gator Jr. Been using this thing around camp, and I'm going to tell you, I'm usually not impressed with Gerber's blades out of the box. They usually have to be put on a stone, but man, this little thing right here, dude, it works. Uh, I got it on clearance at a major sporting goods store. Big, thick, heavy handle. See that? Good blade. It's got a sawtooth on the back. And you see that there? Uh, and I, I, don't, I think these things ain't but like 20 bucks normally anyway. Sog has a decent little one. But, uh, yeah, Sog makes a good one. But, man, for what this is, guys, man, it fits perfect in a pack. I recommend this thing. It is the Gerber Gator Junior Machete. It's a nice little piece of equipment. I highly recommend this. Put this in your kit. Man, we've used this all over camp. It's good and sharp. Man, this little dude works. So, 
There's your recommendation for a piece of equipment.